So, Pete, what happened back there? Uh, you tell me. Um, he got in my face and had a bit of a blow, so I wasn't copping that shit, so I pushed him away. So he's effectively blowing in your face and headbutting you? Well, yeah, he's what it is. It's nothing a bit of what I'll do to him tomorrow night if, he, if the fat fuck makes weight. So what? Tell us what went down there with the weights. Okay, well, I was told 77, so I made 77.8 or 100 grams over, nothing. Um, the Chinese matchmaker over there is, at Kunlun has said it's 84 kilo fight because it's of late notice. So my opponent got changed sort of seven days ago. So, yeah, it's not really the AFC's fight. It, I fold it's a little bit more the overseas matchmaker. So, I don't know, I'll sit in with the team tonight and assess and work out what we're going to do. I don't give a fuck, I'll fight, but... I don't know, the coaches are going to let you. It's a lot of weight. It's a, yeah, it's a hell of a lot of weight. I cut from that this morning. So why can't he cut from that? He's, you know. So you, you actually said to him before, I heard you, you said, are you going to cut more weight? What was his response? Did you? I'm not going to cut. No. I said, cut more weight. you got two hours, cut more weight. And he won't. Oh, there's Brock McRobb. I'll bash him. There he is. He's next. I'll just fight him if you want. That's an easy fight. He won't even look at me. What's, what's the distaste there? What's going on? Nothing. I just like bashing Muay Thai guys. It's fun. So with with your opponent, are you a little bit upset about it? Yeah, I'm pissed. That's probably why I'm carrying on like a dickhead a little bit. I'm just pissed off. It's a lot of work and this, a lot of time away from my family, my children and my friends. And, you know, it's a pain in the ass. I've missed weight for myself by a kilo. I missed weight last fight. Um, by a kilo, killing a bit, and it's you know it kills me to do that. But I still made every effort possible to make that weight, and he's made no effort at all. So he wouldn't even get back in the sauna for two hours. So I don't know what to say. So what's the chances of you not stepping into the cage with him tomorrow night? I, I honestly don't know. It's line ball. But me, I'll fight. I don't care. I, don't, I couldn't give a fuck. It's about my coaches and what they're going to say. And I, I don't know what. Rich is not keen. Uh, neither's Ryan, so it's going to come back to them. They're, they're both saying, "What for?" I get paid regardless, so you know, it depends how much money he's going to cough up. So maybe we'll see. We might get a fight if if the uh, wall thickens. I hate to predict things, but it seems like you're saying it's up to your coaches, and your coaches have already made the decision that they don't want you to fight. Yeah, well, in a sense, yeah. No, they haven't made the decision. No, no, they're saying it's not a smart move. They, at the end of the day, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll weigh up our options, make a decision. At the moment, they're not keen, but they're doing their research too. See? So we'll work it out. For me, I, you know, cough up the money. And I'll punch on. Fair enough, mate. All the very best. Cheers, mate. You've got to head for radio. Probably stick to that. <laughs>